Hello, everybody. We recently had the awesome chance to sit down and chat with Steve Horvath about the Fantasy Flight Games World Championship Weekend 2015 announcement they recently posted. And being the huge Star Wars fans that we all are, we had really no choice but to ask some questions about some of our favorite games, including Star Wars LCG and some of the newer lines, Imperial Assault and Star Wars Armada. We didn't really feel like it fit in the interview video for Worlds 2015, so we cut it from there. But it was also content that we thought you guys would like to see and we wanted to see the world have access to. So uh, you're about to see a couple minutes of the interview that is just very Star Wars related. So sit back, enjoy, and if you play those games, this is exactly what you're looking for. So one thing I, I want to give you a chance to speak to is, and, and I know with a lot of these projects and everything it's involved, whether it's the release of a pack or a game or a prize kit, there's a long tail of time that has to be involved to get <coughs> that yeah. to its final product and out to the market. And, and one spot that's kind of been interesting uh, over the past few years has been the Star Wars LCG. And I, I know you guys have faced a handful oh, yeah. of issues um, that I'm imagining aren't all internal or external. Uh, so it, I don't know, what, what's your thoughts on the Star Wars LCG? How's it doing? And um, you know, it, do you have anything to say about you know, the delays or the, the gaps in releases and, and all that kind of stuff? I have a lot of things to say about everything. But, uh, <laughs> um, Hit me with it. Um, Un unfortunately, uh, for the Star Wars LCG, there was, a, I would call, kind of a perfect storm of circumstances that led to some really sucky delays. I'm just going to say, you know, it's, <laughs> it, it sucks that the game went through a couple of these delays. It certainly wasn't planned. I hear people say that, that we don't want to support the game. That's crazy. Why would we not want to get the game out? That's what we do for a living, right? To be very clear. But some things just happened, so, some of them beyond our control, some of them just went sideways, and, and it's unfortunate. I, I think, I hope that these things are, are behind us now. You know, the Row Squadron cycle is in-house, and how we print these LCGs is we print a whole cycle at a time. Uh, a lot of people may not be aware of that. And so it comes over all at once, too, normally. So all six packs for that cycle are in-house now. So there'll be no reason for any kind of delays going out through that cycle period. And I can't tell you what it is. I'm the guy who usually you can't talk about future product, but I can tell you that the product after that is on track. So it's our biggest hope that, uh, that those problems and delays are behind us. I know the community has been frustrated, but I can promise you nobody's been more frustrated about this stuff than we've been, right? As... I guess the way to say it, I mean, to think about it this way, like I said, it's our job. This is our job to get these games out. And when we don't, that's a huge impact to us. And, and that's not what we want for these games. We want the best for all of these games. There's a lot of fans of that game in-house as well as all the fans out there. And we want to give the game the best treatment we can just like we do the rest of our games. But unfortunately, there were some problems that happened here. I think in the future, we could do a better job of updating people when we have delays. And hopefully that's not necessary going forward. But if it is, we'll let people know. Well, Steve, while we've got you here, I would be uh, foolish to not mention Imperial Assault and Armada, two massive releases that have happened since the yeah. last time we got a chance to, to talk with you. Um, how are you feeling about those games? What's the general uh, thoughts on FFG as far as the release of those games and how they're being picked up right now? Man, we're just blessed with how well those games are doing. I mean, just uh, just phenomenal. In fact, here, I'll give you a tour. Here's my Imperial Army from in my office right here. Can That's you right. see that? Yeah. Ooh, Can you see that and everything? Oh, yeah, they're all painted. Uh, the Rebels are mostly painted. So there you go. There's a little <laughs> view of that. But, you're, uh, you're an old school painter, right? You used to, you were involved in the miniatures painting uh, Old community. school GW guy, yes. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's fun to be painting these. They're they're great miniatures and they're a blast to paint for sure. And I've been playing quite a bit of Imperial Assault, especially a little bit of Armada because I just don't have enough time to play games. You know, people ask me if I get to play games all day. That's sadly not true. <laughs> if only, right? Yeah. yeah. Next That's time you tell, next time you see Christian, tell him he should have me play more games because that would be great. <laughs> all right, happy to. I'll write that one down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, the response has been phenomenal. Imperial Assault was the biggest launch we've ever had in the company's history. 
and wow. Armada was very, very close to that. So we've, yeah, it's just we're we're just thrilled with the response to the games. Um, I know you guys are playing them. We're seeing videos. We're seeing people paint Imperial Assault. We're seeing already massive Armada battles happening. Mm -hmm. um, we've got an interesting kind of a different approach with the organized play for that. Since it's, the, it's just the core set to begin with, the point values are going to kind of escalate for that game as more releases come out. And it started out at 180 points here with the core set, and it'll top out at 400 points aside with the second wave. And there are some phenomenal ships coming. Just phenomenal. We showed off the, uh, the Imperial Star Destroyer at Gamma, and now we've announced that on the website. That ship is just, you know, it was really funny to have that ship in the case at Gamma, and people are walking by looking at stuff going, oh, that's cool, that's cool. And they get to that, and they just stop. Mm. Right? So, it's huge. Yeah. As yeah. it should be. And we're just getting started. We have so many cool things for that game in mind. Yeah. And, and I mean, Imperial, you, Imperial Assault, too. I was going to say, you guys announced the, the first wave or the second wave. I, I, for some reason, think that first wave just came with the core set, but it didn't. Uh, sure. The second, you guys well, announced was, the second wave. That was the intention, but there were, you know, the shipping delays for Imperial Assault, you know, that first wave of packs was supposed to be with the core set, but the holidays and the shipping and stuff like that slowed that down. But in the future, when an expansion comes out, like we announced Twin Shadows, the three packs that come out with Twin Shadows will come out, should hit the same day. Yeah, which included some of the most awesome models ever. Boba Fett, R2, and C-3PO, in my opinion. Yeah. Super yeah. excited about all those guys, so that's really awesome. I'm excited yeah. to see Imperial Assault to regionals as well. Yeah, don't sell that Stormtrooper Commander short. He's pretty awesome. Well... <laughs> I, I won't, uh, but he's no he's no R two D two. That's all I'm saying. No, I, so so actually, those droids are pretty cool in skirmish. You know, obviously they're awesome in in the campaign game and a lot of fun. But they are very interesting, and they will see competitive play in skirmish. They typically do in in Star Absolutely. Wars games. Those two guys, those two metal entities, tend to find their way onto the table. I'm very excited for them to hit the table. All right, well, Steve, uh, thank you so much. It's always an absolute pleasure to, for you to take time to do this with us and to uh, place a priority just on communicating with the player base uh, about what you guys are doing at, at FFG. So thank you so much for your time, and we, we really do appreciate you uh, doing what you do. Thank you. Well, I appreciate you guys taking the time as well and giving me a chance to talk about this. I know that People would like to see some more communication from us, and hopefully this is a venue that, that helps with that as we're trying to be transparent about what we do and get more information out there. So I'm excited to see how the year turns out. Can't wait.